In this video, we'll discuss radial nerve palsy, ARPS palsy, weighted tips position. So what's the cause of ARPS palsy? It occurs due to upper brachial plexus injury. Injury to cervical 5, 6 and 7 causes ARPS palsy. Whereas the injury to the lower brachial plexus that is cervical 8 and thoracic 1 causes clumpy's palsy. Radial nerve is the terminal branch of the posterior cord of the brachial plexus. So what are the causes? of radial nerve palsy. Number one, injury or damage to upper brachial plexus, cervical 5, 6 and 7. Birth injuries causing brachial plexus injury. Compression of radial nerve in axilla due to wrong use of crutches. Fracture mid shaft of the humerus. Intramuscular injection. Saturday night palsy. If cervical 4 is involved, diaphragm is also paralyzed. The nerve regeneration rate is 2.5 centimeters per month that is one inch per month but it depends on the degree of nerve damage so what's the position of shoulder elbow wrist and fingers in herbs palsy shoulder is adducted internally or medially rotated elbow is extended and pronated wrist is flat due to the loss of extensors and unopposed action of flexors and fingers are flexed and curled up in a waiter's tip position. In addition, in the longest standing cases, there is decreased length of affected limb and muscle atrophy of the affected arm. What's the importance of thumb up sign? Thumb extension is caused by radial nerve. So a positive thumb up is an indication that radial nerve is normal. What are the sign symptoms of radial nerve palsy? It depends on site of lesion. But the most common feature is a wrist drop. And what's wrist drop? The wrist is flexed and it cannot be extended because of the loss of or paralysis of extensors. So why shoulder is adducted? Deltoid paralysis causes arm adduction. Deltoid is responsible for abduction of the shoulder from 15 degrees to 90 degrees and for the first 15 degrees it is supraspinatus This causes abduction. Axillary nerve supplies the deltoid. If radial nerve is compressed in axilla then triceps is also paralyzed. So patient will not be able to extend the elbow in addition to wrist drop. So wrist drop and inability to extend the elbow if radial is compressed compressed in axilla. Now radial nerve palsy in middle third of the arm. The radial nerve palsy in middle third of the arm is characterized by paralysis of all extensors of the wrist and digit and forearm supinators. A radial nerve palsy outside the axilla is sparse tricep so elbow extension is intact. So this is the difference between the radial nerve palsy outside and inside axilla. A radial nerve palsy inside axilla causes inability to extend the elbow but in a palsy outside the axilla elbow extension is intact. Wrist drop is due to loss of wrist extensors, loss of functions of extensors of forearm, hand, metacarpals and phalanges. Why wrist is flexed? Wrist is flexed because of unopposed action of flexors of the forearm. Biceps and brachialis cause elbow flexion. Paralysis of biceps and brachialis causes loss of flexion of elbow. If biceps is intact, elbow flexion is possible. Biceps and supinator cause supination. Paralysis causes pronation of the forearm. Most commonly involved nerves are suprascapular, musculocutaneous and axillary. Musculocutaneous nerve supplies BBC, biceps brachialis and coracobrachialis. And what's the sensory supply that is supplies? The sensory loss of posterior surface of the arm and hand because of the radial nerve pulse. It supplies to the first web space, uh, the proximal parts of the radial one and a half digit. The distal one is supplied on the back side by the median nerve, whereas the back of the hand on the radial one and a half is supplied by the radial nerve.